You have definitely not seen my face before, and that is fine. Um, hi, my name is Hylin. I run the YouTube channel It's Hylin's Diary. And I did my GCSEs this year, and please do go check out my channel after this video. You'll learn a lot from both this video and my channel. I partnered up with Jan today to make this video. Let's get into it! <laughs> First things first, people can be not serious about GCSEs. Now, I understand people are going out to have fun, to release all the stress and kind of anxiety. However, there's always this very tiny fraction of GCSE students who maybe go out to a rave or a party right before their first exam. And there were people in my year group who did that. And they weren't the people who had the best reactions to the uh, exam results, you know. I mean, you do you, but just remember to revise and study well because most people just want to do exams, GCSE exams, once and not regret about their results. So, yeah. Another point, time is very little. You think, oh yeah, class is so slow, but once you know you start your first exam, you open the first page, you're like, damn, I really wish I did use my time a bit more effectively. I could have used that time instead of procrastinating, I could have done some more work. So please remember that time is little. Bang these exams, you know, and then you can have as much fun as you want during the summer. Another thing that you should bear in mind with things you should expect from GCSEs is how people can change. Now maybe people see it during year 10, but it's more obvious in year 11. People are switching modes now and sometimes it's not for the best in terms of how they react to their friends, their attitude, their personality. Sometimes you're like, whoa, I don't even know this person anymore. So do bear in mind that we're all stressing, we all have our own problems, and if it's really stuck in your mind, you know, just go have a talk with this person, just be like, hey dude, you're not acting yourself, what's up? You know, we're all here for you, we're all in this together. Now, this next point that I'm going to mention right now, wow. <laughs> drama. Now, I'm not talking about the GCC subject, I'm talking about drama, drama. The amount of drama that I had, we shall not get into the details, but you don't want to get into drama because it's going to distract you and there's going to be a lot of speculations and it's going to anger you and your emotions, your energy will not lie in the right place and it's the last thing that you want to happen in year 11. So drama do avoid it as much as you can, don't actively support it. Really do understand that you should use your autumn very wisely in finding six forms, finding colleges, going to open evenings, something that I didn't do and I wish I did. So once you get that over and done with, you'll definitely be fine. Next one. Nobody will give you motivation, only you can give motivation to yourself you'll realize that yes you're doing it with everybody but this is your journey and nobody is supposed to support you supposed to be your cheerleader in the background in the bleachers or something you'll realize that life most of the time you are going to be alone fighting through all these problems but just remember that you will get through it by yourself or with some motivation from other people. But most of the time we all try to motivate each other because we know how difficult and stressful and annoying <laughs> exams are. I think most of us have done this anyways. Breaking down. Whether it's an emotional or a mental breakdown, you're going to have one at least once, okay? You are going to cry. Expect to cry. It is good to cry. Crying shows that you're human. You are experiencing something that shows struggle within you. So understand that 
is good that you're crying, but you need to convert that negativity into positivity straight away. And that will be your motivation, that will be your drive to success. <laughs> but yeah, always try to move on. And it's a, a vital life lesson that you learn during GCSEs. Books and tuition, you know, the, it's not bad if you can do try it out. Normally teachers, they offer their time after school, during lunch or break, or before school to help you. And I kid you not, it was so helpful. I went to this maths tuition thing in school, intervention that was, yeah. And I wasn't, it wasn't compulsory for me, but I still went. You need to take initiative during GCSEs. Not everything is going to be spoon fed like it has been for the past four to five years. You need to take action for yourself because the results are yours, it is your life. Learn to take action, learn to take responsibility. So if something is not compulsory but you feel like you need some extra work on it, a bit more tweaking, go for it. Because trust me, although you could have spent that time, you know, going on social media, having day outs and having fun. You know, what you're doing, you are only educating yourself. Nobody is forcing you to educate yourself. It is a matter of maturity and realising I'm doing this for myself. And here are just a few more things, very short. There is no need for an explanation. Don't compare yourself to somebody else because you don't know what happens behind the doors, how much effort they put in, how much they cry, and they and then they think, oh, there's another kid who's better than me. I bet they don't cry. So do just do the best that you can, okay? Don't compare yourself. Only you are going to feel bad at the end of the day. What? Now, this is more during GCSEs. Well, middle to the end. You're thinking, oh my god, I've spent so much energy doing GCSEs. I'm just tired. I don't want to do this no more. No. You have to push through it. And I'm a hypocrite for saying that because I really did not want to push through it. I wished that I put more effort. Because you're thinking like, oh, at the end, I have no more energy. I'm not going to revise. I'm just going to fling this exam. No, don't do that. Because it's going to affect your whole grade. And we always hear this. But you don't want to regret on exams results day, so push through to the end. And that's what you need to do, you need to push through it, because you can, you can do it. You may have never done it before, but this is your chance to show yourself, show I have matured now. I am here now, and I want to go even higher up in life in the future. Exams aren't the end of the world. You can always retake if you really need to. That's the best thing about GCSEs. It is a time for you to realise, oh, I'm not a kid anymore. I really need to step my game up. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Go check out my channel too. I have more videos on GCSEs as well as my own like vlogs and stuff. So please do check it out and yeah. See you. Bye.